it's Jojo Pet here, and today we're playing some more Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag on the PS4. And last time I left off, I just did the intro, but I skipped ahead to Havana because I did a playthrough where I, you know, did all the sailing and stuff to Havana up to that point, so I didn't see the point in doing it again. Be there in just a minute. Excuse me, guys. I just killed your friend over there. Go take care of that. And don't mind me none at all. Oh. There's a... There's a thing over here. I'm not going to worry about that, though. I'm just going to run along the, the land and be a little bit faster. I like to go and get collectibles and stuff like that off camera. Because it's so time consuming. Unless I'm like I'm doing a full walkthrough of nothing but like, Hey, here's all the, uh, the synchronization points and stuff like that. And, you know... Sorry about the sugar. I've only one pair of hands. Oh, it's no great loss. Uh, I've got uh, plenty of cargo here to make a profit on my trip. Will you stay here long? For a few weeks, yes. Then back to Barbados to the tedium of domesticity. Don't settle for tedium. Sail for Nassau. Live life as you see fit. <laughs> Haven't I heard that Nassau is crawling with pirates? Seems a very tawdry place. Not tawdry, liberated. Oh, God. That would be an adventure. But no. No, I'm a husband and a father. I have responsibilities. Life can't be all pleasure and distraction, Duncan. Hey, our bonnet. The name's Edward, in truth. Duncan's only a handle. Ah. Secret name for your secret meeting with the governor. Governor, right. I think I've kept him waiting long enough. Alright, so let's head off to the next mission. Yeah, I did a, an assassination mission. That was fun. I I rather like those. If I run across one of those, I'll pick it up. The only reason I get in combat is if I mean to. All right, let me get a uh, new weapons. Excuse me, guy. Okay, so let's look at sword sets. And I've got Yeah, let's do those. Can I sell my old ones? Guess not. Alright, so I got some new weapons. Oh, there's a chest over here. I'm not doing that though. I keep keep wanting to. It's in my instincts. Could just run up on one of these ceilings or these roofs. He said ceilings. What a goofball. What are you doing, doggy? I love the atmosphere in this. It's, you know, that they're singing music in the square and everything. It's pretty cool. Gives it a certain authenticity. Uh oh. Restricted area? Let me go this way then. Ow. Don't worry about me. Hey, governor. Buenos dias. Mr. Duncan Walpole of England to see the governor. I believe he is expecting me. Si, sí, señor Walpole. Entre, por favor. Thank you, sir. All right, so... Ese es el hombre? I can't run along this. I don't know what they're saying. Let me make sure my subtitles are on, though. Alright, I turned the uh, subtitles on for... 
Oh, it's it's translating for me. That's cool. I'd rather like that. Oh. <laughs> Good morning, sir. Would I be correct in thinking you are done? I am indeed. I thought as much. Woods Rogers. A pleasure. The same. I must say, my wife has a terrible eye for description. I'm sorry. My wife. You met her some years ago at the Percy's Masquerade Ball. Ah. Quite. She called you devilishly handsome. Obviously a lie to stoke my jealousy. <laughs> Julianne, our guest of honor has arrived, Mr. Duncan Walpole. Ah. <laughs> Julianne Ducasse. <laughs> I hope your conversion to our order is an honest one. I have no love for assassins, but even less for liars. I have not come to disappoint. <laughs> Up for a bit of sport, Duncan? The old man isn't ready just yet. You've got my two best pairs of matched pistols, Duncan. So handle them with care. If I had eight, I'd treat each as my own son. Pull off a few shots if you like. Get a feel for it. <laughs> I once fought beside a man who carried nine on his person. They were a boom in battle that hindered his ability to swim. Sadly. <laughs> Quite. A good kick, yes? Yeah. I long for the day where one firearm carries four bullets and not the opposite. Is there a way to switch targets easy? James Puckle. He's working on something extraordinary. Magnifique. Oh, okay. I get them all? Enough. Duncan, where are your wrist blades? I've never seen an assassin so ill-equipped. Ah, damaged sadly beyond all repair. Uh-huh. Have your choice. Where did you find all these? <laughs> I did not find them. I took them. These are souvenirs. All right. Two blades, as is the custom, we eh? Custom, aye. Duncan, will you indulge us with a demonstration of your techniques? Well, uh... You must. We put together a training course in anticipation of your arrival. It would be a shame to leave here without seeing you in action. Yes, of course. Well, I mean, if there is time, I would gladly, uh, show you what I know. Here. You see? Situation is well suited to your skills. Have a go. A blade in a crowd is always the simplest. Nothing grandiose, just quick and clean. Nice. Show us another technique. Quite ingenious to use bales of hay for cover, don't you think? Ah, okay. Nice. Spirit. Secrecy. What else? The advantage of surprise cannot be overstated, isn't that so? Especially around a blind corner. Move between two civilians to blend with them. Sure, which one? Over there? Okay. Any of them? Oh, 
I love those. Yeah. Magnifique. Is it also possible to deliver a killing blow at high speed? Ah. That's how you do it. Such a powerful strike. What else? Fascinating. The assassins have trained you well, Duncan. You chose a perfect time to leave them behind. At great risk, I imagine. Betraying the assassins is never good for one's health. Well, neither is drinking liquor, but I am drawn to its dangers all the same. And what is your business here, sir? Are you an associate of the governor's, or a pending acquaintance like myself? Guns, blades, cannons, grenados. <laughs> Anything that may kill a man, I am happy to provide. A smuggler of sorts. And how is your wife these days, Captain Rogers? Is she, uh, here? In Havana? I trust she's well, but I wouldn't know. I've been in Madagascar some 14 months hunting pirates. It took some work to dislodge the criminals there, but we managed it. In future, I hope to use these same tactics throughout the West Indies. And how did you deal with that kind? Very simply. Most pirates are as ignorant as apes. I merely offered them a choice, take a pardon and return to England penniless, but free men, or be hanged by the neck until dead. Oh. I imagine Nassau would be your next target. Very astute, Duncan, indeed. Best of luck with that. Grandmaster Torres! Mr. Duncan Walpole has arrived. See. You were expected one week ago. Apologies, Governor. My ship was set upon by pirates. We were scuttled. I arrived only yesterday. Unfortunate. Forgive my caution, but were you able to salvage from these pirates the items you promised me? Uh, yes, sir. I was. Assassins have more resources than I had imagined, but not nearly enough to deter us. It is a pleasure to meet you at last, Duncan. You are most welcome. Come, gentlemen. We have much to discuss. Convened at last. And in such continental company, England, France, Spain, citizens of sad and corrupted empires. But you are Templars now, the secret and true legislatures of the world. Please, hold out your hands. Mark and remember our purpose. To guide our wayward souls till they've reached a quiet road. To guide all wayward desire till impassioned hearts are cool. To guide all wayward minds to safe and sober thought. By the Father of Understanding's light, let our work now begin. Decades ago, the Council entrusted me with the task of locating in these West Indies a forgotten place our precursors once called the Observatory. See here. Look up on these images and commit them to memory. They tell a very old and important story. For two decades now, I have endeavored to locate this Observatory, a place rumored to contain a tool of incredible utility and power. It houses a kind of armillary sphere, if you like. A device that would grant us the power to locate and monitor every man and woman on Earth, whatever their location. Only imagine what it would mean to have such a power. With this device, there would be no secrets among men. No lies, no trickery. Only justice, pure justice. This is the Observatory's promise, and we must take it for our own. Do we know its whereabouts? We will soon. For in our custody is the one man who does, a man named Roberts, once called a sage. It has been 45 years since anyone has seen a true sage. 
Can you be sure this one is authentic? We are confident he is. The assassins will come for him. Indeed they will. But... Thanks to Duncan and the information he has delivered... ...the assassins won't be a problem for much longer. All will be made clear tomorrow, gentlemen... ...when you meet the Sage for yourselves. Until then... ...let us drink. Let us find the observatory together. For with its power, kings will fall, clergy will cower, and the hearts and minds of the world will be ours. Rest well, Duncan. Tomorrow the treasure fleet arrives, and with it, your reward. After which we will discuss further schemes. I look forward to it. Excelente. Meet me down at the docks first thing tomorrow morning. Governor Torres requests your presence at the docks near the Castillo. First thing tomorrow morning. Alright, you guys, that's the end of this episode of Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag on PS4, of course. If you liked the video, make sure and leave a like, and make sure and stay tuned for more Assassin's Creed Black Flag. I'll be doing a full playthrough of this, trying to stick to the main campaign. And come Friday, I'll have Xbox One gameplay up on the channel as well, so if you like next-gen gameplays, stay tuned to the channel. Thanks for watching, you guys. Y'all have a good day, and I'll talk to you later. Skizzle!